Hey guys, Moan Pober here, 10 times plus entrepreneur and investor. And I want to share with you one of the biggest mistakes that I see with business owners, or not just a mistake, but something that you can do much better. So for example, let's say you have a business right now and you want to grow it. And you obviously put some money on advertising, most likely to grow it. One of the biggest uh, things that I think you can do better is the idea that let's say right now you're making money from your business by doing marketing on Facebook. So you're advertising on Facebook. And right now to grow, you want to test a different platform, right? So let's say you go and want to test YouTube advertising. What I see many people are doing is that they go out there and they spend $100,000 on testing a different platform like YouTube. And unfortunately, those tests, at least to begin with, are going to be bad, right? You're going to fail in those platforms because they're new to you. So here's what I would do differently to grow your business and still be able to test different platforms and make them work for you. So what I would do, and if you follow my stuff, you know that I'm all about growing your business by acquisitions, by buying other businesses like your competitors or complementary business. So for example, if right now you're making money by bringing leads and sales from Facebook, why won't you go and look for a YouTube agency that specialized in promoting and advertising on YouTube? They already have successful campaigns that works and they know what's working on YouTube, right? You can then go take your $100,000 that you wanted to spend on YouTube anyway. But now what you can you do is buy with that $100,000 a business that doing YouTube um, advertising that's doing 1 million in sales and 100,000 in profits. And the way that you do that is you go out there and let's say a YouTube agency is basically a marketing agency, right? The multiples you can pay for those businesses will be anywhere between three to four times max of their profit. So let's say we negotiate a deal and a business is doing 1 million in sales, 100,000 in profit. We now negotiated to pay $300,000 for the business, right? So I'm talking about the business doing 1 million in sales, 100,000 in profit. And then what I would do is I would negotiate paying at most $200,000 at closing for that business, which is very reasonable. And three times multiples on that business is also very reasonable. It's a very fair accounting valuation for such a business. I would then take the $100,000 that I have. I would put that as a down payment. Plus, I would go out there and raise another $100,000 from around $200,000 in accounts receivables. And now I have $200,000 that I can pay at closing and another $100,000 that I can pay over time, over around three, four years, using the business cash flow, the advertising, the YouTube advertising agency cash flow to pay back the rest of the $100,000 we can do as a seller financing or earnouts. There are lots of ways to negotiate. Obviously, there's a lot involved. You got to make sure that the legal are right, that you're doing the due diligence right on those businesses. But when you buy a business like that, First of all, you end up with access to all of the campaigns that you want on YouTube that are successful and you can immediately know what works for you to then implement in your original business. Plus, I think the biggest thing is you just got yourself access to an asset, to another business, doing another one million a year in sales, right? So instead of you taking $100,000 of your own money and testing everything from scratch, creating everything originally and, and trying different platforms like YouTube ads, just go out there and buy a YouTube agency, for example, that got all those platforms and literally you can take that $100,000 and buy a million dollar business worth of uh, all the campaigns that you need. So that's how you got yourself all the campaigns. Plus you got yourself another $1 million in revenues and potentially you even got yourself a manager in that YouTube advertising agency to run some of the day to day for you or to even run all of your marketing department because now you're basically the owner of that business as well. So that's what I would do. And people just don't know that it's even possible to grow your business by acquisitions. They just go out there and do everything organically or internal growth, as we call it, instead of growing externally or by acquisitions or by buying other businesses. So those are my ideas for you guys. If you have an existing business, instead of taking all of your cash and testing it on different platforms and advertise there, just go ahead and buy an agency that's already have all of those proven, uh, I guess, campaigns for you. And then you got yourself a new asset, more revenues and better campaigns. So yeah, hope you got some value from it. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.